Hey guys, Dr. Larry here from Heron Lakes Animal Hospital. If you guys have never seen me before, I'm a veterinarian in South Florida and I consider myself a hybrid hippie. So I use technology to help figure things out and to be more efficient, but I also like raw foods and I don't like giving a whole lot of vaccines. That being said, the patient for today is going Nala. So Nala came to me about a week ago. You can see she is horrified. She is trying to hide in that corner and make herself disappear if at all possible. She came in to me about a week ago for a urinary tract infection. And so we went ahead and we did a urinalysis on her and we tested some of her pee to see if there was any sort of issues there. We did see white blood cells, a lot of white blood cells. We did see a lot of red blood cells. And so that is what we call pyuria. And that's an indication of, hey, there is something funky going on. Why is that important? It's important because I don't really like using antibiotics in terms of being a hybrid hippie if I don't have to. We will try to avoid using antibiotics if at all possible. In this particular case, it did require us to use antibiotics because we did see evidence that she needed it. The other thing that's important is that when we selected the antibiotics, we wanted to make sure that we picked the right one. What does that mean? So there's a council of veterinarians that are constantly evaluating which antibiotics we should use for what situations and how long. And so in Nala's case, we use an antibiotic called amoxicillin. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. There are a bunch of other antibiotics that we have nowadays that are more convenient, like an injection that lasts for like two weeks or antibiotics that are just one pill a day versus the amoxicillin is a three times a day medication. But we are also doing the antibiotics for a much shorter period of time. Before we used to do antibiotics, I remember my vet school professor would say, if you're not putting the patients on antibiotics for a urinary tract infection for at least two weeks, you might as well urinate in their ear because that's as good as you're doing. And now we have switched our stance to, she was on antibiotics for five days, an older antibiotic, so we don't wanna use the newer, fancier ones if we don't have to, and she did great. Now, we wanna make sure that patients are also on probiotics to help replace some of those good bacteria that we're killing in the GI tract, which are just collateral damage as a result of trying to take care of the urinary tract. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have questions about this topic or any other topic, you can always hit us with the word clone, and we'll go ahead and send you a link for a little digital mini Dr. Lara that you can have access to from the convenience of your pocket, the comfort of your home, all for free. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.